Hey everybody, BG Yak in Kansas here, uh, bringing you another how-to and tip video for the week. This week we're going to cover uh, a kayak crate we've got here on the CUDA 14. Uh, you have to excuse, there's a neighbor running a chainsaw in the background, so if you hear some uh, loud noises, that's what it is. So sorry about that. Um, what we've got here is just a homemade milk crate. Uh, I used two milk crates to, uh, to make this crate. It was just some stuff I had lay laying around. So we'll go ahead, uh, we'll get into how, uh, how I built this crate. If you want to zoom on in here, Gavin's running the camera for me today uh, while we're going over this. Uh, how I've got the kayak secured before I take it out is I use the bungee system that the CUDA 14 has. And I took a Dremel tool and I just uh, took some grooves out of the, the crate here on both sides. So that's how it holds in on the back. And then in the front, I attach the, uh, the metal end of some bungees. There again to the bungee system on the CUDA 14, and I just drilled a real small hole. So I've got the same thing on both sides here, and that just holds that crate in there nice and tight. If you flipped over, I think it would still probably stay in the yak, so that's a good thing. So, get that all uh, undone there. We'll just go ahead and pull the crate out. So what I did was I wanted some extra rod uh, holders on my crate. So I made this first one out of uh, inch and a quarter PVC. Uh, we've got these rod leashes here we made. I secured those to the crate itself. Made this out of inch and a quarter PVC and this one out of inch and a half PVC uh, for your catfish rods, your surf rods. They got a little bit bigger end on them uh, to fit in there. What I did was took a Dremel tool again and I cut out the shape I wanted and just kind of trial and error. I just kept cutting on it. And then what I did was I took a wine bottle I had laying around and I heated up the PVC on the end and then I just shoved it down over the wine bottle and that kind of gave me that flared in like you see on the uh, the manufactured uh, rod holders. And I wanted to secure it in a way that I could, uh, without kind of modifying the yak in any way, uh, and still be able to move it around if I decide this isn't quite where I want it. So what I did is I just zip tied it on there real tight and they're, I mean, they're snug, they're not coming off of there. And I did when I secured the, uh, the rod leashes, I actually secured those to the crate so if this does happen to come off, the rod's still attached to the crate. Um, so again, inch and a quarter PVC on the smaller, shorter one, and inch and a half PVC on the larger one. Um, I did. I wanted a lid on my crate so the stuff, if I did ha happen to turtle, it wouldn't fall out. Um, so this this lid here is uh, the top section, or excuse me, the bottom section of another uh, milk crate that I had. And what I did was I just cut it off uh, just slightly above. Uh, this kind of bottom framework and then uh, sanded it down again using the Dremel tool. So then uh, I hinged it over here on this side. How I've got the lid secured is I just tied a bungee on the back here and then it just goes over in these grooves that were already in there and then I just put two bolts here uh, with some nuts on the end and I can just slide that through there and I've got the, uh, the a bungee ball on the end there. And that keeps it on there pretty tight. It's going to stay closed even if it falls out of the kayak. Again, something real simple. You can easily change it later if it's just, you decide it's something you don't want. And then for the hinge, again, keeping it simple with stuff I had laying around the shop. Uh, took a drill bit and a Dremel and just made really small, uh, fine holes in there. I don't know if you can get in there and see that, Gavin. But just big enough, basically, for these zip ties to go through. And I put four of them in there. And that holds it pretty secure. And then when it stays, it'll stay down there just like that. And this milk crate, it's your standard milk crate, so it'll hold your 3600 series tackle boxes really nice. And anything else you want to keep in there. So, again, this is the milk crate that I've uh, made for my kayak. Uh, I really like it. I like the lid. Um, the way it sits on the kayak, if I've got some stuff loose, I can just toss it back here real quick. And it stays pretty secure. goes in and out real easy just toss it back in there hook my bungee straps there in the grooves and take these little clips stick them in the holes and again it's in there nice and secure my seat comes back even with the seat uh, up I can still uh, I can still get the lid all the way open and it'll stay just like that. It clears your rods. Um, 
the lid will clear the most rods that you put in the rod holder, so it works really nice. Um, if you've got any questions about it that I didn't answer, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. Uh, we hope you hope you like this rigging video. We'll have some more to come. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, BG Yak in Kansas. You can also check us on, out on Facebook at the same page. Again, uh, don't forget, take a kid fishing.